Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Onam Dikano in danger. As Asari Dokubo says, he will be hunted but ruthlessly dealt with by Igbos. Onam Dikano in danger. As Asari Dokubo says, he will be hunted and ruthlessly dealt with by Igbos. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Asari Dokubo, a Nigerian activist and former leader of the Niger Delta region, made a statement about Unam Dekanu, the leader of the IPOB leader, shortly after he was discharged and acquitted by the Court of Appeal. Unam Dekanu was in the news a few days ago over the decision made by the Court of Appeal. Delivering a suit filed against the Nigerian government, by his lawyer, the court declared that the IPOB leader, Unam Dekanu, is discharged and acquitted. The news of the judgment was first made public by his lawyer, Ifiai Ejimako, who took to his Facebook page to make the announcement. A few hours after, Owaneze Indibo, a group in the southeast, commended the justice of the court while also advising the Nigerian government to obey the court's decision and release Unam Dekanu as soon as possible. Hours after Masob, a group in the same region insisted that the release of the IPOB leader is a good boost for the push for the Biafra nation and soon the Nigerian government would understand that Biafra's agitation is real. IPOB also reacted by advising the criminals in the region to leave as soon as possible due to the judgment delivered in support of Unam Dekanu against the Nigerian government. However, the Anthony General of Nigeria announced hours later that Unam Dekanu has not been acquitted, but only discharged by the court. He insisted that the Nigerian government would, in the coming days, file more charges against the IPOB leader. After the reactions of a few groups and the Nigerian government, Asari Dokubo released a statement. According to a report from Politics Nigeria, Asari Dokubo on Saturday insisted that the leader of the IPOB is not loved by the people of the Southeast region due to what he has done to them. The former Niger Delta leader alleged that Unam Dekanu is responsible for the death and many atrocities in the region, and due to this, he would be attacked when he is released. His statement reads, Do you think those people he has caused pain, destroyed their businesses, their livelihoods, will leave him alone because they want a political solution to bring him out. They will hunt him down. Mark my words. His fellow Igbo people will hunt him down, even if he finally comes out. Somebody would deny you, would deny Biafra, IPOB and ESN. 
even if he is out, it is you people that will hunt him and deal with him ruthlessly. Asari Dokubo, a Nigerian activist and former leader of the Niger Delta region, made a statement about Unam Dekanu, the leader of the leader. The, re the leader of the IPOB leader shortly after he was discharged and acquitted by the Court of Appeal. Unam Dikanu was in the news a few days ago after the decision made by the Court of Appeal, delivering a suit filed against the Nigerian government by his lawyer. The court declared that the IPOB leader Unam Dikanu is discharged and acquitted. The news of the judgment was first made public by his lawyer, Ifiai Ejimako, who took to his Facebook page to make the announcement. A few hours later, Owaneze Indibo, a group in the southeast, commended the justice of the court, while also advising the Nigerian government to obey the court's decision and release Unam Dekanu as soon as possible. Hours after, Maso, a group in the same region, insisted that the release of the IPOB leader is a good boost for the push for the Biafra nation and soon, the Nigerian government would understand that Biafra's agitation is real. IPOB also reacted by advising the criminals in the region to leave as soon as possible due to the judgment delivered in support of Unam Dekanu against the Nigerian government. However, the Attorney General of Nigeria announced hours later that Unam Dekanu has not been acquitted but only discharged by the court. He insisted that the Nigerian government would, in the coming days, file more charges against the IPOB leader. After the reactions of a few groups and the Nigerian government, Asai Dokubo released a statement. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.